so you I should think... always follow a systematic approach to name uh, name different elements so let's take this example it's a bm model box element and modifier so mm-hmm. you, are you looking at this house here so that house represents a block inside which what do you have you have doors and you have windows those are what elements inside that particular block and then the color of the window the color of the door what are those those are modifiers so let's take the example here block slash element slash modifier for example if you are creating a table then table is the block a row of it is a element and modifier is its state whether it's active or disabled or click and all those things so now let's go back to our figma file right so you see i had used some names so here you okay. read it it's component slash button slash primary slash normal so here the component is a block button is a sub block primary is an element of it and normal is a modifier and normal can be disabled normal can be hover normal can be sec- uh, anything right any other state that is there so if you follow this you will be able to quickly swap the uh, instances in any screen very very quickly from the drop down that's why structuring and you know following this practice is very very important